everyone so today I'm gonna show you how to do your makeup like a flight attendant you can use this for doing the video interview your face-to-face -face interview or even if you're already a flight attendant and you want to know how to do your makeup more festive then I'm gonna show you how to do that today remember to prime your skin because us flight attendants we literally work for 12 hours straight and you know you do your makeup in the morning and that's it so you need your makeup to last all day and you don't want it to get really oily so make sure you prime your skin all right so the very first thing that I'm doing is my brows um, I'm filling it in with the Anastasia dip brow in the color dark brown and an angle brush and as you can see I'm being very light-handed because this is work you know you're not trying to look like a drag queen so I don't want my brows really too dark this is my favorite part in doing my brows because this is where I clean up all my mistakes make my brows look extra crisp so um, I'm just taking some concealer Usually I'll take a concealer that's the same color as my skin for work because you know I don't want it to be my brows to be over exaggerated but this is the only color I had so it was like one color lighter than me. Um, so I'm taking a flat brush and some concealer and just going around to sculpt my brows just to clean up any imperfections. Make sure you blend all your concealer out. Um, if you don't, your makeup is not going to look good, girl. The last step to my brows is just to sweep some darker powder over the dip brow because the last thing I want is for my eyebrows to start out on my face and end up somewhere else at the end of the night. For work you should really find a foundation that you love but that's cheap enough for you to wear it every day this is my favorite drugstore foundation it's so lightweight but it covers every single thing I really feel like this foundation could be good for oily skin girls and dry skin girls Next, I'm going to conceal and highlight my under eye. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This concealer is really thick, so you don't need a lot of it. Um, my biggest piece of advice for doing work makeup is to find a product that you really, really like, but that doesn't cost an arm and a leg because you're going to be using this every day um, and it's going to run out, you know, so you're going to be purchasing it more. Now I'm just going to use a darker color in the LA Girl Pro Concealer and contour my face. Now these are the products that I really use for work. I actually pack them in my suitcase every time I get caught out for a trip. And I do the same routine every single time. It's like a routine for me now. Now I do beat my face for work, but I don't go overboard. As you can see, I'm not squeezing any new product out of the bottle. I'm actually just using the product that's already on the little applicator. I'm doing this because I want my makeup to be a little bit subtle. To make sure everything is extra seamless, I use my damp beauty sponge to blend it. Now I love the Laura Mercier translucent powder, I use it a lot. But for work I like to use the Cody Airspun powder just because it has like a little bit more color in it and I want to make sure that I don't have a white cast for work. And this beauty sponge is damp with water. Now to bronze up my face. This is my favorite bronzer ever. So besides the red lip, a rosy cheek is like a must for a flight attendant. A good blush to use is Raisin by MAC. This is what I'm using right now. Um, it's kind of like red and like burnt, kind of like a burnt red. <laughs> so with this blush, I start out really small like with less product because this blush is really pigmented and I don't want to go overboard. The goal is to make your redness look natural, like it's your actual cheek color. You know what I mean? And I like to put a little bit on my temples because I'm extra as fuck. 
but you don't have to do this step if you don't want to. Wanted to give you guys a couple of different options for blush. I also use this blush called Romantic Rose by Milani. It's perfect for rosy cheeks. Next, I'm going to highlight, this step is not really necessary because it's just work, you know, but um, like I said, I'm extra. So I'm going to use this golden color by Kiko. It's actually an eyeshadow, but I use it as a blush. It's really subtle. That's why this is like the only one I use if I'm working. And setting your makeup is a must. Like, it's a must. You're going to be having this makeup on all day if you work like a slave, like I do. And you don't want that powdery look. Okay, so lastly, guys, is going to be my favorite part of the whole look. It's the classic flight attendant red lip. I'm going to give you guys three options. The first option is gloss, which... Um, I use this Vamplify gloss um, from MAC. I don't actually know the name of it, but do you see how pigmented it is and how glossy it is? And that's only from one swipe. This next option is a lip liner called Trust in Red. It's from the same collection as the lip gloss, but it's like a more orangey red color. It's an option if you don't want to be so out there and if you want to be a little more subtle. Now this is my go-to lippy for work. It's a Sephora satin lip stain. It's really soft on your lips and it dries down matte. It's really, really, really bright red and I love it. Like I just love it on my skin tone. So we're going to wear this one today. First I'm going to line my lips with that um, lip liner from MAC that I showed you guys earlier. Just so I can ensure that I stay inside the lines when I put on the lip So guys, I realized I missed a step. I'm kind of bald right here up in my eye area. I forgot to put on lashes and eyeliner. So um, yeah, I just put on the eyeliner off camera, just like a thin wing. And next, I'm going to use my Dior eyelash primer and put some of that on there. You can skip this step and just put on some lashes, but I lost my eyelash glue, so this is my only option right now. As you can see, the primer does plump up my lashes, so I love it. See how this primer just separates my lashes and makes them look extra long? You can use your favorite mascara. I'm going to use this Hourglass Mascara from Sephora. It's a travel size so it really does come in handy for when I work. I can just toss this in my bag and it literally takes up no space. Okay guys, so this is the finished flight attendant makeup look. This is the look I wear every single day for work. Um, it's become a routine to me now, so it's really easy. I feel like I can do this with my eyes closed. Remember, the three major keys to flight attendant makeup are fluttery lashes, rosy cheeks, and bright red or pink lips. Lipstick is a must. Do not, do not skip on that part. Oh yeah, and another important part to the flight attendant look is your hair. Make sure it's not just, oh shit, look at that freaking underarm pit, oh my god. Guys, I got some new lights and they're hot as hell, you know, like, that's why my underarm is sweating like that. My underarm does not sweat normally, but hey, whatever, I'm not going to do the video over. I figure I show you guys my whole look. This is my uniform, my actual flight attendant uniform. And yeah, so I'm wearing a skirt, some tights, a long sleeve button up blue shirt, my scarf, and a really lightweight sweater. Yeah, cover those pit stains, girl. I hope this helps some of you aspiring flight attendants. Thank you for watching. Bye. Mwah.